Hey, this is Joel from FluxDigitalMarketing.com and today I wanted to show you a newish tool that helps you identify the most influential content for any keyword, for any topic, for any niche. That tool is called BuzzSumo. Uh, you can see that right here. We're on the site and I am going to show you uh, seven ways on how you can use this for uh, better guest blogging. So. First off, I want to show you around the site a little bit. So what this is, is we enter in our topic or a uh, domain. We'll get to that in a second. So uh, for example, I'm going to put in uh, CrossFit. So say I wanted to uh, learn more about what kind of articles are being shared on the topic of CrossFit. So here's what BuzzSumo does. Uh, you enter that keyword in and it will show you the top content for any time period you can filter this is just for the past week i could do it for the past day month or six months and the other awesome thing is i can filter by content type so you can actually check these boxes and maybe i don't want uh, giveaways or videos and i can re-filter that and take those out um, the other cool thing is i can uh, sort by um, likes or you know whatever's the most popular by channel so let's get into um, the different ways to use it so number one you can use buzzsumo to uh, make a list of the most influential blogs talking about your topic so uh, obviously you can see uh, Huffington Post uh, steak and barbells it's a great name um, CrossFit, uh, uh, LawnDonuck.com, um, uh, YouTube. So basically you can see all these, uh, say you don't want YouTube, you could filter out videos, um, but you can now see what the top um, sites are talking about your topic uh, and make a list of those to possibly reach out or monitor to see what they're talking about. Uh, the second thing is using it to check out the specific topics being talked about. So you can get a list of content ideas essentially. Uh, figure out what types of posts are doing well. Uh, so not only topics but types of posts. So that is things such as uh, lists. Are they long posts or short posts? Are they uh, videos? Are they, you know, are they infographics articles? You could start sorting and figuring out what they are. But uh, uh, we can see that obviously you know lists do well um, anywhere but uh, you know nine things or 48 in injuries um, things like that you can tell and get a list uh, uh, a list of types of content um, number three um, you can reverse engineer the post success so really figuring out okay where is um, this topic or keyword or niche the most popular we can see that um, Facebook it's definitely the most popular and we can start reverse engineering this might be uh, going off of BuzzSumo but figuring out uh, how those posts got to be so popular who they start with who were the influencers that shared them what was that kind of tipping point um, the fourth thing is uh, it also has, BuzzSumo has a really handy little tab here where you can actually sort by influencers. So you can find the uh, top influencers uh, writing and talking about that topic uh, with the influencer tab. So you can see here, these are, you can get and it shows you um, the authority page rank, Twitter followers, uh, retweet ratio and reply ratio which is pretty incredible. You can see that, you know, Pat Sherwood is a lot more likely to respond than any of these guys, right? Um, and you can follow them straight on uh, Twitter. You can make a list of them and start engaging with them. Uh, number five, you can find the most popular content on a domain. So this is really cool. Uh, so say that now I wanted to check out uh, Rogue Fitness is the top person. I can just take that and put in a domain and, oh, we don't have anything. Let's go to something else. Let's say I wanted to do it with, uh, I have, uh, I wanted to do something for uh, Tim Ferriss. So I'm going to do four hour work week 
dot uh, com. We'll get off at the CrossFit. Oh, that's what I did. I, I just didn't switch to top content. Let's go back and see if Rogue Fitness will work. There we go. Uh, there's the top um, uh, top uh, content for Rogue Fitness, but let's go back to 4-Hour Workweek and see one with a little more data. So this is the top posts on Tim Ferriss' blog. Um, I can see uh, it's actually not what I would expect, but if I were to put, pitch him a post and I see that uh, uh, this 14 thought leaders share you know, their bookshelves, I would do another uh, big post like that because it was extremely um, popular and uh, is a uh, more simple curation post. Um, number six, uh, you can also sort by channel, which we talked a little bit about, but we can find which uh, networks are most active for the content. And so we can start uh, and see, we'll, we'll sort by what's most popular on Twitter. So you can see actually on Twitter, it is that post. Um, and so that is a quick overview of BuzzSumo and uh, a bunch of the different things it does. Uh, the very last tip is you can uh, export these results. So you can throw them into a spreadsheet. You can also uh, put them onto a feed, an RSS feed, and also don't forget, uh, make your life a little easier with these advanced search options. It just shows you these little queries uh, like we talk about in uh, my guest blogging course. Um, if you have any questions, just post them below and I will try to answer them. Thanks.